Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at Uptime Kuma. This is a self-hosted monitoring tool that can help you monitor your application, can help you monitor your database and uh, things like that. Um, so this is the tool, it's open source and it can be installed in a Docker container or on a VPS. I have a tutorial with uh, this that I will uh, let into the description so you can easily install it. So this is their GitHub repo with the details. In uh, here, I have installed Uptime Kuma on one of my subdomains, as you can see in here. And uh, this is the interface. And in here, you have the dashboard for this. And uh, you see in here, you can add a monitor, for instance. And in here, you can choose the monitor type. You can monitor multiple things. In here, you see like HTTP, request, DNS, Docker container. You can uh, monitor your database. You can then set up notifications. So in case something happens to be notified via SMS, if you want, via email, via Slack or other uh, options. There are a lot of options in here that you can choose from. And uh, in here you have the options to set the URL, the interval for this uh, to see if the certificate is it's expired. And the status codes in the right side, you can add a proxy if you want. Uh, you have the HTTP options that you can add in case you have an API that you want to monitor. So, yeah, the interface, it's like this. It's looking nice. And in here, I've added a website that it's monitored. You see in here, you have some reports with the response, a very response, the uptime in the less than 24 hours, 30 days, certificate when it expires. You have a nice graph in this area that you can uh, uh, check. Other things that has this has also a status page that you can uh, set up. So in here you can create your status page if you want. Let's say close the admin. In here you can configure your status page. You can uh, switch to the dark. You can create an incident and. Uh, Others can have access to this status page. In here, you can add the domain name if you want. And then you can add the the services to this status page. You see the monitor in here. And uh, right now, others can have access and see what is happening uh, with the services. So, yeah. This is Optaikuma and the uh, it's a nice tool that can help you monitor your websites or applications. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, in case you like it, please don't forget to subscribe and like. If you have uh, tools that you like, please drop a comment so we can check them and maybe make a video.